All right, we took up the uh, vinyl and it really stunk because it was trapping some dirty water from underneath the toilet and the shower. So the vinyl just peeled off the uh, substrate like it was nothing. So, you know, I'll probably go ahead. It's going to be it for Jennifer today. So uh, I'm ready for the shower because now I stink and I'm Yeah, you stink. So, all right. So. All right, we uh, I think we did a good job today. Two girls getting that uh, getting that tub out, and you did a wonderful job assisting me. And uh, yeah, where you guys could be. Here. Well, I had a little extra time, so I started to take up the uh, sub flooring here. And I'll tell you what, it is just uh, it's it's pretty much wet underneath there, isn't it? I mean, there's just no doubt. You can see the so moisture in there. So we've had a serious leaking on that uh, toilet and what actually happened was this is just one sheet of plywood but there's been so much water absorbed by the wood that it's just swollen up and uh, humped here in the middle so uh, it could be a way till we get over here to some really seriously good uh, subfloor here but the good news is uh, subfloors are expensive as, are as cheap as hell Whereas finished store, finished floors are expensive with the tiles and all that kind of stuff. So just keep chipping away a little more because this has certainly got to dry out before we get in here and uh, get cracking on anything else. This is uh, this is the point of maximum dirtiness right here in this project, and a lot of girls are going to see this and they're going to squeal. <laughs> all right, <laughs> stand down. All right. As you can tell by looking at the subfloor, I had to come a significant distance over from halfway under the tub over there to all the way over here almost to where the door swings till I finally picked up some good uh, redwood subflooring here. But you can see below the tremendous toll that water intrusion has taken. And some people came in and tried to do some victory repairs by putting uh, sheets of plywood down but all you end up doing when you do that is you just have uneven surfaces because as water hit this floor it's absorbed into the plywood it expands at a different rate than the redwood and then you have the uh, have the rot setting into over here you can see the significant significant rot although it looks like a uh, terrible deal here it's very easy to replace this uh, subflooring with a good uh, one inch uh, plywood. You just slide down there real good and uh, make a good surface. But we surface, but we want to make sure, get a look underneath it here to make sure our beams are okay because we might have to sister or put some new beams next to it to uh, give some extra strength to it since we've had some rot and some other stuff here. And that'll be a good thing in the long run because it'll make the uh, make the property better and it'll also make the uh, bathroom store floor much more stable so about what I expected to find to tell you the truth I love that uh, High Plains Drifter the movie with Clint Eastwood especially the part uh, where it's welcome to hell boys <laughs> they painted the town red and everything well this is our version of hell today is I'm getting up this uh, subfloor that's more damaged than good and um, you know I think uh, Jen's probably a little heartbroken but in a remodel world this is such a quick fix you know once you go down and assure that all the uh, all the cross beams are good down there and like I said maybe adding other pieces to them if need be for extra support then it's just a matter of cutting and fitting the, uh, the nice uh, nice grade of uh, plywood one inch thick and you really have yourself a hell of a uh, substrate there for flooring and everything so probably we'll get rid of uh, all the old redwood that's running through here just end up cutting that there and putting down uh, putting down sheets of plywood but we'll check everything out and crawl underneath the house and take a look of course if when I by the time I take up the uh, the uh, floor here it'll be pretty apparent that I want it to crawl under the house I could just jump down there and do what I have to do. So, welcome to hell, boys. Uh, the Admiral's coming in on deck, attention on deck to check it out. And uh, I'm cooked. It's getting on about two o'clock, and I'm fried today. We did a hell of a day's work. I never imagined I'd be pulling up the uh, 
floor, not quite the subfloor, but the overlay for the uh, subfloor there. And uh, you might think, oh shit, you know, that's bad, bad news. This is nothing compared to when I used to work uh, construction and renovation in uh, college to pay my way through college. One of my jobs for uh, two years was uh, doing renovation work, especially on the weekend. And we'd go into some cities, some city houses in Baltimore. And literally, when we took up the floor, we would just fall through to the next floor down. It was that bad. So this is really a minor. You know, Redwood, which is house where we built them, all Redwood, is very, very rot resistant. And I can guarantee you, if this had been built of any other material, like uh, oak or pine or something like that, this, this would have caved in a long time ago. It's a tribute to Redwood that it really uh, holds up so well but uh, you know we definitely got some work to do so Wednesday will be devoted to slowly going along and doing um, doing some carpentry here and getting uh, getting stuff organized to get a better sub uh, sub flooring down here and uh, you know you can't take the redwood like I said before you can't take the redwood here and then have a piece of plywood come in here and then you have rod here that's causing depressions you can feel all those things you can feel those uneven spots when you're walking on it and that's the last thing you want on a remodel job so probably the last 50 years a lot of people have had a crack at uh, doing work in here as you can tell so some did a good job and some you know it's kind of slap and tickle construction but you know by the time the rosy girl finishes it's going to be a first class job Thanks for being along today, guys, on this uh, two-part video series, Welcome to Hell, the flooring, and then also, of course, the uh, tub removal. We were going to call it uh, uh, smashing or uh, busting up the tub day, right? Breaking up. In fact, we had to saw it out, so it was all really cool, and I hope you enjoyed it. It's what makes stuff so fun on the O'Kelly channel because we do stuff here that you don't usually see trannies doing. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching.